now at six. Yesterday's major fire in an old building in Bluffton isn't the first time the downtown has seen this type of damage. Good evening. I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. Fire ripped through that building yesterday around noon, displacing several tenants living in apartments. The state fire marshal's office has been busy inspecting that unstable structure today. News Channel 15's Adam Widener continues our coverage with a look at what else Bluffton's fire department has faced in recent years. Adam? Well, yesterday marks the third major downtown fire Bluffton has seen in three years. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but it's left fire officials explaining why these can get out of control so fast. As small town USA gets older, downtown Bluffton poses a perfect example of the problems at hand. Once you have an area of origin that takes off and it gets in the attic space, these are uh, older brick structures where the mortar uh, has been weathered, gone through season after season after season changes. So that's what makes the downtown fires unique. In November of 2011, a fire ripped through the Hideaway restaurant and bar. It was caused by an electrical malfunction. And in January of 2010, a fire gutted a century old building. It was started when clothes fell off a bed and got wedged near a baseboard heater. I don't believe there's any connection. Each fire has its own cause and origin. As crews work to inspect the collapsing building, it is still very unstable. The roof has actually collapsed. You can see the sky through the top window. Smoke is just on everything. Leon Geyser owns Parlor City Cabinetry and Construction. He's worried about the collapsing building since he shares a wall with it. Although Geyser has some water and smoke damage, he's thankful firefighters prevented anything worse. I, I can't say enough good things about them. They basically saved the building. Now the cause of the fire is still unclear, as well as if or when the building will be torn down. The state has now blocked off a portion of South Main Street, fearing part of the building could collapse into the road.